sound on the first of videos I took. So I'm going to start my introduction again. It's St. David's Day, March the 1st. Um, I decided to go out on a walk. I walk in the Gower Comes Path, walking from Mumbles all the way around to Crofty or Pain Cloud, depending on how far I get. Um, I've walked, I set off for Mumbles, already been through uh, Rothlade, Langland, I'm um, just heading down to Caswell now. I shall show you this behind me. Um, yeah, basically it's going to be a three day adventure, two nights while camping, 39 miles. So we're just heading down to Caswell now, and after Caswell, paths get a little bit rougher, no more of these nice concrete paths, but the uh, bushwhackers, they say. But anyway, I guess this is Caswell Bay behind me. And I gotta go all the way around that point, uh, hoping to end the night up in uh, so many rocks which point anyway. Uh, that should be about a 14 mile walk from the start point. But say carrying best part of 20 kilograms on back, no easy task. Anyway, let's see how we go. One last uh, one last picture of Caswell for you to enjoy. Bring it back in a bit. Hey, bye. Cats will be. Right, now we're about five miles in, still on the path, walking down. Uh, I think we're coming across uh, Putley. I'm sure you now if we get a bit closer. So far, so good. Uh, it's been a bit of a change in the path, going from the nice concrete path to a bit more rocky, one or two little scrambles. Anyway, um, you see, Putty behind me, Putty head, I'll show you a bit, just get past these gorse bushes, tip of the day, tip of the day, the other flowers and gorse, they're edible, nice little trail snack for you. So anyway, So far, so good. Everything seems to be working right. Packs right. I think it was a good choice to wear trail runners instead of boots. Um, anyway, so this is Putty Put Bay. Put Bay. I think the coast path goes off somewhere in that direction. Well, there you see the beach. A nice pebble beach makes a change to the gower. Nice little house. And uh, I'm going around there, over the headland. Next stop, three cliffs, where hopefully I'll stop for a cuppa and a bite to eat. So, bring you back in a bit. Right, I've just come up from Putley Bay. Off to put the head. Um, oh, good. Bit of a growing slug up, I'm not gonna lie. A little bit out of shape, but still growing well. Um, it's about another two miles to uh, Pennard Castle, so I hope we can stop for a little bit of uh, tea. Maybe have some food. Anyway, off we go. Oh, a shout out to Hayes Outdoors. Medic! Right, off this way, bring you back in a bit. Right, hello again. I'm about six miles in, I'm on top of uh, Pennard Cliffs. Uh, the first time of day, you can actually see where I'm supposed to be going. Uh, 
I'm not sure if you can see it behind me in the distance, maybe two. Um, right now, over there anyway. Ah, there you go, Oxus Point. So I'm just going to go around Oxus Point. Uh, hopefully, get a camp of somebody this late. First of all, I got the Penad Cliffs, walking down to Three Cliffs Bay, cross the Nature Reserve, on to Ox Ridge. Oxford Point by there, and then uh, about half a mile on the other side towards Pine, then hopefully stay for night. But anyway, as you can see, glorious day. So, out, see for miles, but yeah, so Pennard Cliffs. So, heading down towards Southgate, uh, Pennard Castle, we'll stop for lunch, then down through three cliffs, up the end, cross the pill. And then all the way along Oxford Beach or the Leach Reserve, stop Oxford, fill up the water, then hopefully get around the point and find a decent camping spot. So, back to you a bit. <laughs> Beach. I'm made in that direction. Here's the beach. In the background, you can see Pennard Castle. Pennard Castle up on here by there. And I got to cross over these stepping stones here. What is unfolding? Right, wish me luck. Right, I'm in uh, Oxwich Nature Reserve. First off, no. I got across that. I guess that bridge thing. I guess that bridge thing is here in the summer. But nothing's here now. There's some dodgy little crossing point, but I'm not sure I can do that. Um, we have to walk along the beach. See what we can do. Anyway, let me take you down the beach. So I'm about 11 miles in, but I have three to go, and it's not good coming on the bloody sand. Um, I'm working out across the pill, but still, I think I can do it further down the beach without getting my feet too wet. So, have a look. So I'll spin you round, give you a quick sighting of Oxford Beach. And I gotta go on the headland over there. So bring it back in a bit.
can see, I'm in Oxford Bay. There's Oxford Bay. There's Oxford Bay Hotel behind me. I just got a walk up here around Oxford Point and try to find somewhere to camp. So, bring you back in a minute.